Hey everyone, this is Stretch. I'm going to show you how to use the TGP in air-to-air -air mode. So what I've got here on the right is I've got my FCR. I've got a MiG-29 coming in hot. And on the left, or that's on the left, on the right side I've got my HSD for situational awareness and my TGP, which I'm going to take out of standby. And I'm going to put into air-to-air -air mode. And by default, the TGP is slaved to the FCR. You can't see anything much right now, but if I make the TGP the SOI with DMS down, and then I hit the pinky switch to change the FOV, and then I use the manual range knob to zoom in all the way, you can just make out that this is indeed a MiG-29. This allows me to VID targets. Right now, this MiG-29 is just over 20 miles away, so I can VID a target just over 20 miles away. And I can also tell that he's hot and uh, this is going to be a real problem. So that's the first thing that TGP lets you do. It lets you VID targets from a long ways away. The other thing it lets you do is it lets you lock targets independently of the radar. So right now my TGP is SOI, and if I hit TMS up, you'll see that now I've locked the MiG-29 using point method. So let me fire a uh, Fox 3 at him, and now let me go out. I'm going to go out um, He's going to go to mperf in six seconds here. Three, two, one, and now it's mperf, pitbull. So if I go out beyond the range of the radar, look at that. The TGP still tracks the MiG-29. And if you can see, we've got five seconds to go. Four, three, two, one. We look back at the TGP, and we can see it's a miss. But we can see he's cold to us, too. So the TGP lets us track a target independently of the radar. Let's turn back into him again. Unfortunately, the TGP is not perfect. It's dropped lock right now, so we're going to have to pick him back up on radar. There he is. Lock him back up again. Set the SOI to the TGP. Get an independent TGP lock. You can see on the HUD now we got two boxes. The dashed box is where the TGP is looking. And the solid box is where the radar is looking. Look, the radar's dropped lock, but the TGP still has him. We still got that dashed box. Go back to a solid box. He's still out. We can see that the guy's still out. Clearly see that he's a MiG-29 now. Let's run him down. Alright, so the TGP still got its own independent lock. We can see two boxes, dashed and solid on the HUD. We see that the MiG-29 is now beam right. Starting to maneuver. Let's take it to the merge. Let's see how the TGP can help us in the merge. So we're going to set up a lead intercept on him. And let's make the TGP the SOI zoom out a bit so that we get a better view of him. Alright, we have visual. Coming in for the merge. Let's go down to corner speed. And taking it to the merge. There we go. Now let's so let's uh let's overshoot him. Oh never mind, the TGP's lost lock. Give me a sec here. So if you want to slay the TGP back to the radar, just make the TGP the SOI with DMS down, then hit TMS down, bam, back to the radar. Now we can hit TMS up, get a get a lock on him again. Now we've got independent TGP and radar locks. Alright, we've got a lock on the TGP. Let's go radar silent now. So set the SOI back to the TGP. Since we're in air-to-air -air combat mode, we can go DMS down. We've got no radar now, but we do have a TGP lock. You can see a dashed box on the HUD showing us that we have a solid TGP lock with no radar lock. So we are radar quiet. He doesn't have anything on his RWR. We have him locked up, though. Can't fire missiles against it, unfortunately. And the gun sights don't, uh, the gun sight isn't calibrated against it because we don't have any ranging information. But if we lose sight, let me turn out a bit here. If we lose sight, you can see we still got a line. We can follow this guy back. So we can turn back into him at any time, which is very useful in a dogfight. If you lose sight, the TGP will hold the lock longer than the radar because the gimbal limits are wider. Unfortunately, there you see we went out of gimbal, so we lost the lock on the TGP. So the TGP is not perfect. If you do lose the lock like this, simply turn your radar back on with uh, and unslave the TGP to the radar 
by making the TGPDS so by hitting TMS down. That'll do it. So let's go back to the radar and uh, turn the radar back on. Find this guy. We've got uh, the TGP now once again slave to the radar. Let's set the radar to a vertical scan mode. Make a 360 degree sweep for this guy. Got him on the RWR. Let's tighten up our turn. See if we can locate the guy visually. Okay, should be right in front of us. Let's go to HUD radar mode. There he is. Got him. And the TGP's got him. Make the TGP the SOI with DMS down, then TMS up. Didn't quite work. Try it again. TMS up. There it is. Now I've got independent TMS and radar locks. We can turn off our radar with uh, TMS down when the radar is the FCR. Now we have no radar, TGP lock. Turn it back on. And now we have both radar and TGP lock independently. All right, I'm going to kill this guy for your guys' pleasure. Fox 3. Home on jam. Wow, that's stupid. Why is he have a jammer on so close? And there he goes. You can see on the TGP, we have a good hit. This is useful. Uh, when you go out, you can tell if you have a good hit, even at a distance. And there's a shoot. That's one more dead. Make 29. All right. Stretch out.